Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and it's Debsy, and the place to be, it's Debsy. Bloop, bloop, that's me. Boop, Debsy. Hey guys, and happy Sunday. I hope everybody is having a great day and a wonderful weekend. Um, happy, first of all, let's get it out of the way. Happy first day of fall. Oh, there we go. Spice, spice, baby. I'm drinking a pumpkin cheesecake, pumpkin caramel cheesecake. K cup, a full pumpkin creamer. It is quite cold because it's been sitting here for a little while. Okay, so as you know, I decided to move Mom, Mormon Mom Talk Monday to Sunday. So I give to you Saints versus Sinners Sunday. It's a lot. So we're going to talk. I'm going to talk about episode three of Secret Lives of Mormon Wives on Hulu. And this week's episode was titled The Book of Saints and Sinners. So let's get into it. So the, the new Mean Girls, the new Plastics, um, Macy, Michaela, and Whitney, they get together. They get together. Whitney brings over some soup that, um, <clears throat> some soup that her husband made. And they're, so they're going to, they're going to eat the soup. Drink some of those nasty poopy, oh, I meant poppy sodas. No, I'm going to call it poopies because that's what they taste like. They taste like garbage trash, garbage shit. <laughs> they taste terrible. It tastes like if you suck on a wet, old, nasty, corroded gym sock. So they're talking about this. So talk turns to the baby shower, Taylor's baby shower, you know, that Whitney didn't go to. So Whitney was like, everybody was texting me. And then Taylor's mom called. I picked up, listen, the only reason why I picked up was because I don't have her mom's number. Otherwise, if I had it, I wouldn't have picked up. Listen, this is the only time you're ever going to hear me aside with Whitney. Um, same. If I don't know, if it doesn't list, if it doesn't say the person's name, then I don't pick it up. So I get that. This once again, I'm not gonna, I, we'll get into how I feel about Whitney. There's the only time, I'm, I'm probably the only time I'm ever gonna agree with her. Okay, so uh, who was it? it? It was either Macy or Michaela who was like, well, listen, I mean, I get why you didn't go, but just sending like a text to Taylor you know, maybe would have been nice. Whitney instead was like, listen, we're not friends. And um, I didn't, I didn't text her because I didn't think it was a big thing. Well, it was though. It, kind of, it, it was a big thing. And uh, Michaela hit nail on the head. She's like, I think she didn't go and she didn't text because she wants the attention. That's how Whitney is. We know that, we can see that. Whitney has to be the center of attention. That's just how it is. There's, she needs to be the queen bee. She's already put it out there that, hey, listen, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna ice Taylor out because I'm the queen bee. Okay, so next up, it's Jen and Zach. It's over at Jen and Zach. Um, Jen and Zach's, I thought it was at their house, because it turns out they're having a birthday, no, 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 a graduation party for Zach, Jen's husband. He just graduated from BYU. His family's all like, woo, all like, la -di da They're very rich and like doctors and whatnot. Um, but that being said, I can't take this dude seriously with that blonde hair. There is no way in hell that I'm ever going to be able to take that guy, that dude, seriously with that blonde hair. I guarantee it. So all the ladies are coming over. All the ladies and their spouses are coming over, including Taylor and Cody. And this will be the first time Taylor sees Whitney since baby shower. So... Listen, the, the Mormon Mormons can't drink or not allowed to drink um, alcohol. So they have these soda places, these soda shops all over town 
where you go in and you get fat and pops. Shout out to Peter Mon, shout, fat, fat and pops. So they get these fat and pops. So they have this guy come over and cater the beverages with like pops. I, listen, everybody else says sodas. I say pops with pop, different cans of pop and creamer. If I'm gonna tell you what, if you have not tried this, if you have not tried like a Coke or a Diet Coke with a creamer with maybe like some French vanilla, listen, you are missing out. It's a good thing. Or like a, or like a Dr. Pepper or a Diet Dr. Pepper, you have, you're missing out. It's good. It is, it, it, I will give that to them. It is very good. Um, but here's the thing. I could do that job. If you're a, if you're a pop, if you're a soda pop caterer, what's to do with that? You bring over some cans, you set them out, and you put the creamers behind them. I could do that. Can't sign me up. I need to make some millions. So they said that out there in Utah, like soda shops are the coffee or the coffee shops out there. Mm -mm, I couldn't do that. That's, I need my coffee. No, thank you. Um, Jen, oh, what was I going to say? Jen, and Jen had said her mom is from El Salvador. And I get the feeling that maybe, maybe Jen doesn't feel like she completely fits in just because of like, their families are like polar opposites. Like she said, her mom is the cleaning lady at the hospital where Zach's father is a surgeon. I feel like there's a part of her that doesn't, I don't know, maybe feels like doesn't fit in just because, because of that difference. Um, Whitney, listen, Whitney, I don't know why I put this or what the, why she even said this. I'm going to tell you right now. I put in all capital letters, I cannot stand this ju judgy bitch. This judgy ass bitch. She's like, I have values that I live, that I live by. So for her, the ones that are like, the ones for her that, that she is going to align herself with are like, um, Jen, Macy, Michaela, that's who she's going to align herself with because they are the ones who live, who are like, who cling to the rules and follow the rules of the church the most. So she's, she's already picked her team. So afterwards, oh wait, no, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. So Taylor, it looks like Taylor's getting ready to leave. Taylor goes over and talks to, um, you know, goes over and talks to Whitney. She's like, is there, is there anything you'd like to talk about? Meaning, meaning why didn't you come to the baby shower? And it was radio silence, iced out radio silence from Whitney. I mean, Regina, I mean, Whitney. No, we're going to call her Regina. So she was like, no, nothing I want to talk about. Meanwhile, when her mom called you, when Leanne called you on the phone to talk about why you weren't there, she was like, this is not a conversation for me and you. This is a conversation for me and your daughter. You ain't never going to have, listen, you ain't never going to have uh, that discussion with Taylor. Never. Okay. And Macy then, so then Taylor leaves. Macy's like, don't you think you should talk to her about it? Or at least tell her how you feel. Whitney's like, uh, no, I'm not going to do that because I did that before. I was vulnerable in the past. And, and then they did a flashback to when the first episode, when, Ta when um, Whitney was like, yep, y'all were right. I've been living a damn lie because my husband been on Tinder. And, and then right after it, uh, Taylor, Taylor was thinking, well, if we're opening up secrets, I'm just going to everybody, tell everybody, you know, about this pregnancy. And then she, and then that's when, remember, that's when Whitney was all like, oh, she's trying to one up me. I mean, 
that's what she's talking about, I think. And then she said, well, she never reached out to me after that. So, I think Taylor had a lot of shit going on. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. So, afterwards, they all got to this hot tub. They're saying that her, his parents are pretty wealthy. This hot tub was the size of a, this hot tub was the size of a postage stamp. They shove all these people in this, in this hot tub. People were sitting on each other's lap. This was giving me swinger vibes. This is what was giving me swinger vibes. So, Jesse and her husband, I can't remember his name. Jesse and her husband were there. He pulls out, he cracks open a flask of vodka. As soon as he cracks that open, Whitney was like, She was very like, oh, and the reason being is because once again, in a Mormon church, you can't drink. You cannot drink. So there, there was that. She was giving him the side eye galore. She looked very, very uncomfortable. Now, both Whitney and Jen were upset, but here's the thing. Only Whitney was getting judgy. And I will say this. I don't think it was right for him. I don't think it was right for him to bring alcohol over. Because it's at the parents' house. I mean, and the parents are very strict. Are, are very, like, adhere to the rules. Very, very strictly. Like, that's it. So, I could see where it is disrespectful to bring that in. I mean, I, I that shouldn't have happened. I, I completely understand that. But that right there, that sealed Jessie's fate for not being on Team Saint. She is clearly on Team Center with, um, with Taylor. Okay, so next up was... Mom talk, well, not all of mom talk, but like four of the people from mom talk took a field trip to get Botox done. This was, um, this was Whitney, Jesse, Macy, and Michaela. Wait, no, 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 wait, 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 who was it? It was, it was, no, 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 wait, 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 it was Whitney. Jen, Whitney, Jen, Michaela, Macy. So they go to get this Botox, these Botox injections. Okay. So apparently in this religion, like it says to treat your body like a temple. Only put like good things in. So go get Botox. I, do you see what I mean? And that I don't think both. I don't think that's a natural Botox. Like, I don't think it's like, it's just plant extracts. I don't think Botox is plant extracts. I think it's, ah, uh, oh, okay. So, beyond that. So, Jen is having this um, baby blessing. And it turns out she's only inviting the ladies who are there. She's only inviting Macy, Michaela, and Whitney because they're the strongest in the church. They're just the ones who are strongest in the church. I don't want any drama. I just want people who are strong in the church. So that means um, Jesse and Jordan, they're definitely out, especially since that hot tub drinking, drinking that, drinking that vodka in that smallest, um, the smallest, oldest um, hot tub in the land. So, Jen is like, but she feels kind of torn. She's like, I don't know. Should I invite everyone, though? I feel kind of bad if I don't invite everyone. Whitney immediately is like, no, you shouldn't invite everyone. Now, listen, once again, Michaela, Michaela, you know, now you absolutely know how Whitney is. Whitney does not want to bring everyone together, despite... What she had said in the past, she didn't want to bring 
anybody together. She wants to ex exclude people so she can control people. That's exactly what it is. Also, you know, I'm starting to think that Macy is not such a great friend to Taylor. If she was, and there's all this talk, them talking badly about Taylor, why wouldn't you defend her? I mean, I get it and she's not in the room, but that's especially when you should be defending her. I think that's shitty. I think Macy's a shitty friend. Okay, so next up we have Demi. Demi goes over to uh, Jessie's um, hair salon to get her hair to get her hair curled. You know, Jay Z hair, J I Z hair. So she goes over there to get her hair done. They're talking, and Macy's like, uh, Demi said she was talking to Macy and mentioned that she has to go get a dress for the um, for the baby blessing. And Macy laughed and had said. Oh, you're not invited. This is the first she had ever heard about this. Because go back, rewind two weeks. They were in the car and Jen was like, I would love for everybody to be there for the baby blessing. Said, they played that clip twice. So there was no, they played that clip twice. She said that twice. So Team Saints and Team Sinners is already built. It is already built. Now, I didn't know at this time why Demi, no, no, what was I going to call her? Demi. I said I would have this conversation with myself. Demi. So, Demi, she, she, what did, you, I'm thinking now, what did she do that is putting her on sinners? I don't know, but we'll find out. Hold on, because we'll find out about that. Absolutely. And who had said it? I don't know who had said it, but it was either, it was one of those two. But listen, Team Whitney are the plastics. They 150% are. She is Regina George. I'm telling you that right now. I don't know who's Gretchen and who's Karen, but trust, she's... Trust, she's Regina, and dude, listen, we all know what happened to Regina George at the end, near the end of that movie, don't we? Okay, so they, so they're like, let's call her up. So they FaceTime Jen, um, and asks, are we invited to the baby blessing? I'm so excited for the baby blessing. Um, we're invited, right? And she's all like, I'm sorry, um, no, we. Here, let me put, let me put Zach on. Let me, let me put, or no, 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 no. She put it on Zach. She was like, well, I would invite you, but Zach doesn't want a bunch of people that he doesn't know there. And blah, 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 blah. Jesse says, listen, hey, I always thought that, was it Jesse that said, I always thought you, yeah. It was. She was like, I thought that you and I were the closest. It was either Jesse or Demi. I can't remember. One of them had said to her, I always thought we were the closest. And she's like, we are. We are very close. But then it was Jesse because then Jen was like, we are. But to be honest with you, that, that whole deal with bringing a flask over and drinking in the hot tub at his parents' house, that wasn't cool. And now I get that she could she just come out right at the beginning and said that instead of throwing her husband under the bus. So Jen says, well, listen, the, the women that I'm inviting, they're stronger in the church. We just don't want any bad energy at the baby blessing. I put it at the booby blessing at the baby blessing. And then she starts crying. This right here is to elicit sympathy. Okay. I'm going to tell you what. What? She don't want any bad energy. I'm going to tell you, the baby blessing, I doubt that Jesse's husband is going to cry, that they're going to do, that they're going to break out into keg stands in the middle of the baby blessing. Okay? I'm pretty sure that they would have enough respect and enough common sense and knowledge not to do that. So, Jen starts crying and isn't, oh, who wasn't? One of the girls off camera was like, mm-hmm, that's how she's going to start doing it. So then she's like, but here, I, I talk to Zach. 
And then Zach's like, well, listen, we're doing it. I want it this way because I haven't really hung out with you're with the other husbands as much. And I just want this to be about the baby. Okay. So Jesse says, um, we just want to know why we were uninvited. That's all. And Zach says, listen, it was never for certain that you were invited. And both, Je both Taylor and Jesse were like, no, that's, no, you invited us. And then they show two weeks later, two weeks earlier. And then, and then they're like, well, there was not a date set. She's like, they were both like, yeah, we have the date. We put the date on our calendar. So yeah, there, yeah, there, there was the date we had, we had a date. So once again, listen, and then they, then they're like, let's just let it go. So they, so they hang up. And once again, I get it that Jen doesn't want like drama at the at this baby blessing. But like I said, it's not like these girls are going to come over, do keg stand in the middle of the baby blessing, and then take uh, and then take a deuce in the middle, drop a deuce in the middle of the table, and be like, "Peace out, suckers," and then leave. They're not going to pull. They're not going to go. You know, tits out at the baby blessing. So let's calm down. Also. Um, Jen needs to own up to the fact that she can't say no to Whitney because Whitney is pushing her. Whitney really pushed her. Whitney, who isn't in the family, does it and pushed her. And she just couldn't say no to that. So let's remember that. Um, and yeah, Jesse, you absolutely are right. You guys are excluded because you're not uber Mormons. You're not super Mormons. That's exactly why. That's the reason why. Because maybe also, now that I think about it, maybe these these women that she's collect that Whitney's collecting on her side are the women that are not that are, I don't want to say weaker, but are not gonna push back as much. Maybe that's the case. So, okay, next up we have Demi. Demi is hosting a Galentine's Day party. Listen. In case anybody doesn't know, Galentine's is a holiday that came from the mind of Leslie Nope, aka Amy Poehler on um, uh, Parks and Rec. It is July, you have July 14th, but then the day before July 13th is Galentine's Day. It's a day when you celebrate your friendships with other, with other ladies, okay? It's a big thing, everybody knows about it. So it's a Galentine's Day party. She's inviting all the Mom Talk moms, along with some of her her friends, um, outside of Mom Talk. Mom Talk, just so she doesn't exclude others. Okay, she's she's cool like that. Demi says she's a progressive Mormon. Okay, so over in the other end of town, in you know, Plastic Land, um, Whitney, Macy, and Michaela, they're getting ready. And of course, what are they doing? They're talking about people. They're talking behind people's back. That's their favorite thing to do. So to me, I don't know what this means, but Macy says Demi told her she's a nine. And then they were all laughing and they were like, there's no way she's nine. Macy was like, if she's nine, then I'm a 12. I don't know what that means. Like to me, if you say you're a nine, that means you think out of out of ten looks wise, you're a nine. That's what it mean. That's what to me it means. I don't know if they're talking about like on a level of like uh, adherence to the church rules. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, so I, I have I have no idea. And so yeah, she says she's a nine. They all cackled like hens, and Macy says, well, then she's a 12. I, I don't know. Does that mean you're compliant on the compliance scale? So then they get into this fruity cereal incident, and Michaela's like, what are you talking about? What is that? And it, it revolves around Demi, because she's the target now. She's the one that they want to that they want to embarrass. So it turns out the ladies went on this brand trip. And Demi shared uh, a sex story involving her husband, Brett. Mace was like, I don't believe you on that. So they called Brett and they, they talked, they 
they put, I guess it was on speakerphone and they were talking about this. And they were talking about like this sex act. I guess that involved fruity pebbles maybe. Um, now, okay. So here comes the judginess once again. Here comes the judginess again from hypocrite Regina. Hypocrite Regina, now hold up bitch. Cause aren't you the one who wants to do a brand deal waving, waving dilds and vibrators around in the air for money, okay? Wait a minute. You're the one who said you want to liberate mom talk. Is there a game today? No, there's not. That, that you want to liberate mom talk sexually, okay? So what's this? That doesn't make, that doesn't make any sense. So then as it turns out, she got this big old bag of fruity, this bag of fruity cereal, and she's putting it in a box, and she's wrapping it all nice, and she's going to give it to, to me as a prank gift. She thinks it's funny. It's all funny. Ha ha, it's funny. We're going to embarrass her. It's funny. Once again, I'm disappointed in Macy. Disappointed. Do I, I don't like her. And do I, do I hate, do I d despise her as much as Whitney? No. I don't despise anybody as much as Whitney. So they get to Demise. So at Demise, um, they're, everybody's at Demise and they're standing around and Macy says, I guess I'll see you. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. At the baby blessing. And they were like, no, we're not. We're not invited. And Demi was like, oh, Demi. Demi, no, 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 not Demi. Macy was like, oh, I forgot. You didn't forget. Listen, bitch, you didn't forget. You remember this shit. You remember that they weren't invited. For someone who's torn between Taylor and Whitney, you look pretty cozy. You look pretty cozy all night with them. So, okay. Things are going on, and the three, those three, the plastics are sitting in a corner. And, um, to me, oh, well, no, 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 no. Let's start over. Hold on. So, to me, says the, the reason she gives a little talk, and she's like, I, we're here to bring out our feminine energy, and we're here to support one another. And I love all of you, and I'm here to support all of you. Now, that face that Whitney gave, that stink eye as she was inhaling that food, that stink eye in that potato, in that potato dress, in that potato sack burlap dress, girl, put something, wear something else. Man, you're not on a train trekking. You're not on a, you know... You're not on a Mormon track across the country. Come on. Anyways, that face. So, okay. So, let's go. Let's move forward. Where the three saints, the, the, the AKA, the plastics, they're sitting on a couch in the corner. Demi, and then to me, Demi, right off the bat, just calls them the, pla just calls them the plastics. True. True. Yeah, you're right. They're mean. They're mean girls. So that's when Demi get that's when um, Whitney gives Demi her present. Demi was so happy. She's like, "Oh, thank you. Oh, you. Oh, that was really nice. You didn't have to. You didn't have to get anything for me. Oh, it's it's it is wrapped so beautifully. So she opens it up, and she sees. She sees what it is. It's these. It's this fruity cereal that was the center of this story. That really wasn't meant to be out to anybody except for between her and her husband. So here's this bitch giving her this prank gift. And she had said, listen, this wasn't supposed, she said off camera, this, the, the theme of the night isn't, isn't meant to be, um, isn't meant to be like trashy. It's not a trashy, um, a trashy birthday or a trashy night. It's just, we're supposed to be here to support each other. And that story wasn't meant to get out to anybody. And she's, and she's upset and she's pissed and she might be, she's probably a little embarrassed. So uh, 
now listen. So who, so who in this situation should be upset and should be pissed? Should it be Demi or should it be this bitch who gave this prank gift meant to embarrass and humiliate you? Who should be? Should it be A or should it be B? It shouldn't be B, but guess who it is? Whitney has to get, Whitney has to get all pissed. She's pissed because Demi didn't have, didn't have the same, didn't have like the reaction that she wanted. And then, and then she's like, I'm actually, I'm actually pissed. I'm pissed. And what the fuck is a Galentine's party? Google the shit. Google it. If you Google it, Galentine's Day party, it Galentine's Day, it would explain it to you. Okay, so Taylor, listen, Taylor's 100% correct. Whitney is absolutely hypocritical. hypocritical. Flashback to the first episode. The first episode, I'm choking myself up so much. I'm so, ner I'm so nervous. I'm so upset about this. So they flashback to the first episode and she said, I want mom talk to be a place where we can support each other and make a safe place, a safe space for everyone. Once again, I want to make mom talk a safe space for everyone. How? How are you doing that? Come on. Now, this is where my rant went. Uh, earmuffs. If children are, are listening, earmuffs. Oh, fuck you, Whitney. How do you feel? How do you feel attacked? You came into De you came into Demi's party with a prank gift that was sex shaming, that was smex shaming Demi. Demi didn't have the reaction you wanted, so now you're pissed. Unfucking believable. Unbelievable. At this point is when I was like, nope, don't like Whitney, don't like her at all. There are many times that I have watched um, reality TV and I've been like, I do not like this person at all. I don't like this person, not even a little bit, not even a little bit. A prime example was Jessel on the rebooted Real Housewives of New York. Didn't like her, hated her at the, at the beginning. However, she grew on me and to be completely honest with you, she might be my favorite on the new Real Housewives of New York City. Okay? That's not going to happen with Whitney. I don't like her. She's fake. No. If I'm, I'm taking sides, I'm taking sinners. Because, listen, at least with the sinners, you know where you stand. With these fake bitches, with the saints, no, you don't. Okay? So, if Jen, if Jen is stuck in the middle, Jen, don't go over here to the plastics, please. Go to the centers, all right? She won't, though. Okay, so next up, the centers. Um, Layla, Jesse, Taylor, and Demi, they're going bowling. Uh, they're going bowling on the Sabbath. <laughs> they're not out doing, you know, running guns and um, drinking moonshine. They're bowling, um, and the saints over at the blessing, the, the baby blessing with the saints, um, Jen's like, I feel better that I just didn't invite those sinners. Um, so she's leaning heavily into that. Macy says she's planning a girl's weekend for her birthday, um, with all of the women. So we're going to see how this goes. The only thing that I don't understand, why is Layla in the centers? I'm glad Layla's in the centers because I like Layla. But listen, why? What did she do? We're going to find out probably. It's probably something fucking stupid. So, okay. This is heading into a very long video. So, um, I got appetizers I need to make and a game to watch at 1 o'clock for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, listen, if you watched... Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought. And if nobody told you yet today, your love seen and heard, please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity in the world. So it comes right back at you. Please take care of one another. Please also remember, be aware of your surroundings, 
be safe, hydrate, hydrate often and with water and also if you're someplace where there's a dangerous situation, whether it be weather related or otherwise, please be mindful, be smart, be safe. I love you guys. I'm going to actually probably see you a little bit later. So talk to you later. Bye guys.